So this Andy Pants gaming guy, maybe you know him, maybe you don't know him, but he makes these videos that are anti-woke gaming videos, like why is everything gay and retarded? <laughs> now, dude, are these videos monetized? If so, I'm going to start naming my videos like this because this is hilarious. But he also did that debate with uh, the act ma'am. Yeah, boom roasted to the act man. And he lost pretty poorly. Like, he got his ass kicked. It was a really bad debate on his behalf. He uh, looked bad. But that doesn't negate and take away from these videos, which are amazing. And I was watching these videos, and I was thinking to myself about how Call of Duty has gone super gay and uh, retarded now as well. With the power of the gayness, <laughs> he will be spreading it across the land. One more, one more. I mean, he is hot. If that man came up to me and said, never speak to your family or your mother again and marry me, I'd say when's a good time. Yes, daddy. The one thing I want to talk about before I even begin this video here and watch uh, Andy Pants uh, destroy modern gaming, is when you think about something, you want to think about the downfall of the West and just how things that happen in gaming and things that happen in social media, things that happen in entertainment are a microcosm, not just a microcosm, but a bigger analogy, a bigger metaphor for society. And the funniest thing I think about Call of Duty, about being super gay and retarded, is... The fact that it's a mature game, which I believe is 16, 17, 18 years plus, depending upon what country you're in. And it's about killing and destroying and blowing people up in war. But uh, they want you to moderate your voice chat. They want a moderator voice chat. They want AI to ban you if you say the naughty words in a game that's supposed to be for 18 plus and is also about killing people. So blowing people up and shoot people in the face thousands of times a day is okay but saying naughty words isn't and that just shows like how fucked up and backwards our mind and uh, our thinking and priorities are and also i just want to point out so andy's pants gaming stole my lisp and joke he talks like this guys personally i do a much better job talking like this hey guys let's go and play a very exciting game here i'm so excited about call of duty this year guys it's gonna be amazing i can't wait to use the lgbt plus community cards it's so amazing inclusivity anyways grew up in an era where xbox fall lineup was like splinter cell max Payne, the saboteur that's right little piggy gobble down the gay communist slop xbox is feeding you like a good little sheep Guys, in case it's not clear, we live in clown world now, and it's all the fault of liberal cuck men who have allowed this because somebody is continuing to play these games. So if you were... Not really. Not really. Listen, I mean, Andy's talking about this. Be like, I'm going to go a little deeper here. I'm going to go a little deeper. Not really. Because look at Ubisoft's stock plummeting 50, 60, 70%. It was worth $90. It's now worth 10. It's like down... 80% or something crazy like that. I can't do math. I'm not Chinese, but I can drive. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. But some people would say that it is a lot deeper than that. And there is a movement to undermine the West that is brought forth by propaganda from other countries that are, like I said, trying to undermine us. And these people don't care that games are not doing well because they are on a social virtue mission that exceeds value and profits, which they all soon find out when they get fired. doesn't really because they're on the street sucking dick for dollars, which is cool. Go out and do it for free anyways, but then they get paid to do it. But there's a lot difference of a problem here uh, with the whole uh, Besmanov ideology subversion video, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen. If you haven't seen, too bad, so sad, but it's the ex-KGB agent who tells people in the 70s, late 80s, or late 70s, early 80s, in the interview with American television that Russia has been and is using ideological subversion to undermine the West with Marxist communist ideas and infiltrating the school system and that will permeate for years and years and will destroy us, which seems to be happening. If you look at the universities now, they're nothing more than just nonsense, brainwashing institutions that you pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for that, you know, you're in debt for the rest of your life because that is still the only debt in the world that is not forgivable. You're seriously still denying that there has been a demasculinization and a pussification of games the past 20 years. You are either coping, gay, or straight up lying to yourself at this point. 
or perhaps you're funded by China and their secret oh. plot to overthrow masculinity in the West. I take it back. He is going down this route. It is true. Uh, not that, but it's actually Russia as well. But, you know, they're working together. So, okay, I stand corrected. Thank you very much, Andy Pants, for getting there. Exactly. So China and Russia are working together. Why would they not use, you know, sub sub ideological subversion? Why would they not use mental games to try to undermine the West? Right, right, of course. To make the male populace weaker for when they invade. I'm not sure. Anyway, the last time I did this video, some of you guys thought I was being selective and handpicking games from 20 years ago that look masculine just to make present day games look worse. I wasn't, but just to avoid that argument, here's what I'm doing. I am picking four games that Xbox is releasing to Game Pass right now. These are clearly games they expect us to play. Now I am going back exactly 20 years and I'm looking at what Xbox was releasing around the time of October 2004. What I believe we will see is the obvious feminization, the obvious pussification of games that has happened the past 20 years. And guys, if you look at everything else that came out in fall 2004, it's insane the number of titles I'm leaving out. I get what he's doing here, totally agree, but comparing one month of one year to another month of another year, maybe next month they'll have more games like Call of Duty comes out, and in a couple of months we have, uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto, maybe in 10 years. Regardless of what he's trying to do, I mean, he's making a video trying to prove a point, which is true, but he's being a little bit insincere because there are still some masculine games out there. I mean, think about it for a sec. What's a masculine game? That... Red Dead Redemption 2 was, what, five years ago? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, hold on, that's fucked. That's a Ghost of Tsushima with a chick and now was a samurai, which would never happen. Also, just want to make this clear right now, the empowerment of a woman was the biggest decline of uh or was the biggest mistake and led to the biggest decline of our society empowering women just saying trick them into thinking that being women and staying at home and raising a family is slavery but going to have to work a nine to five job every day to pay taxes is somehow not a lot worse off of a situation i mean the governments will not convince women to go work so they can help be tax tax slaves just saying Taxation is theft as well. It was only supposed to be brought in during the war times to help pay for it, and it was supposed to be taken away, but then they just decided to keep it. I mean, Half-Life 2, Tony Hawk's Underground, freaking KOTOR, it's insane. Now you might say, but, but, but you're comparing inky games with AAA games. Yes. Look, dude, I don't care what you want to call these games or how you want to classify them. All I know is I sit down at my Xbox, and these are the games available to me, and... Okay, Andy is confirmed gay, though, as well, because he owns an Xbox over a PlayStation. In October 2004. Meanwhile, these are the games Phil Spencer and his squad of gay men think that I actually want to play in October 2024. So I'm highlighting a disconnect here in video games now from video games 20 years ago, and people can't seem to come to terms with it. All right, let's let the embarrassment begin. And we're starting with Wargroove 2. Steam says this. Trouble here. <laughs> we was kegs and shit. Listen, guys, everybody get behind me. Wakanda. I want to put it out there. there. Uh, Wakanda, whatever that movie was. I don't know. Uh, worst fucking movie I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not being racist. It's horrible. My uh, immigrant wife also said that movie sucks. And we didn't watch it past 20 minutes. And it was free on Netflix. What was it called? Uh, I can't remember. Horrible movie. The worst movies of all time were that. Black Panther. Yours? <laughs> of Ariana, an ambitious new faction has unearthed forbidden relics capable of catastrophic consequences. But how far will they go to achieve glory? Dear God, like Xbox, you expect me to play this? This is the kind of game you see on that little screen at Chili's that you pay your check on. Like really, Phil, we do an Applebee's games now? All right, and let's compare this game with something that came out the exact same month in 2004. Halo 2. Following the destruction of Halo, humankind experiences a short-lived victory. No, Eager no, no, for no, revenge, no, 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 the covenant... Andy, Andy, Andy. Following the destruction of Halo, humankind experiences a short-lived victory. Eager for revenge, the covenant launches a surprise attack on Earth. Andy does sound gay. Some point right now. Andy does have a gay voice. For a guy that's going off here, I'm thinking he might be a grifter. Andy might be gay. I'm just saying he might be like hitting points here. But the fact that he, he got his shit kicked in from the act man, uh, I'm just thinking this this might, dude, I this dude definitely has a feminine voice. Covenant launches a surprise attack on Earth. Totally. Halo 2 is one of the greatest games on Earth. 
Back in 2004, I was in college and living in a house of guys. We would literally just crowd around the screen. Gay confirmed. I was living in a house of guys. Gay. And take turns grabbing the mic and roasting people. Oh, side note, guys. Did y'all see that Call of Duty turned on public proximity chat? It's like Activision is starting to figure out where their bread is buttered. Like, why has proximity chat ever been turned off in a video game? It's, you know, I know why. It's because people are gay and they're sensitive and they don't want their fifis hurt. But um, it, it was cool to see that Call of Duty has turned that junk back on because they realized that there's like been a serious decline of masculinity in games. So anyway, back to Halo 2. The campaign is incredible. The multiplayer is incredible. There has never been anything like Halo 2, nor will there be anything quite like Halo 2 in the future. Now, fast never forward. Know. And Xbox, Might be. who is supposed to be releasing something just as good as Halo 2 in 2024, is like, uh, do you want to move some colored block? Phil, you're trash, dude. You're a cuck. This is why nobody is buying Xboxes. All right, next game. We love Katamari. The stop at nothing pushing prince is back and ready to re Yes, excited. And the king of all cosmos accidentally destroys all the stars in the sky. He orders you... If you like this game, unsubscribe right now. I don't need. I don't want any of you watch my videos because you're obviously children. I can't have you around. I'm not P. Diddy. Princely son, Outta to here. put the twinkle Beat back it. in the heavens above. Now, yes, I fully understand this is a remaster or a sequel of, ironically, a 2004 game, but it's still really, really gay. Like Katamari Damashi is a very gay game, and they chose to remaster it, and that says something. They could have remastered the Saboteur right now. They could have remastered a masterpiece. They could be remastering the absolute Chad game, Max Payne 1, but no, they're remastering a game in which you put the twinkle back in the heavens above. Let's compare this with one of the manliest games ever made, Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Revolver. I'm helping you out, Andy. If you need like masculinity uh, hints and tips, I'm your guy. I'll hit that like button, subscribe right now for big dick energy. You live as a bounty hunter bringing criminals to justice while struggling to unravel the mystery of your past. You must find those who murdered your family and take your re revenge. Guys, look, I understand that Phil Spencer is throwing us dudes a scrap by giving us Indiana Jones and Stalker 2 this fall, but Indiana Jones is likely going to be full of girl boss wokeism, and Stalker 2 is probably going to be the only good Xbox release this year that's good at all. Y'all need to understand the difference here because we had like 10 awesome games come out in the fall of 2004, 20 years ago. And there's like, like one, one or two good games coming out this fall, like Space Marine 2, uh, Wukong, like what else is there, dude? And now we're being asked by games to put the twinkle back into heaven. Like, come on, dude. And this is exactly what I mean when I say that the LGBTQ mafia has ruined our hobby. And it's because y'all let them, dude. We let them. All we can do is to stop playing these gay games. That's how you stop this. We have stopped playing it. Look at Ubisoft. No one's playing X Defiant. And I barely talked about Red Dead Revolver. It's an awesome game. It's all right. Here's the next gay game we're talking about. All you need is help. Dive into a quirky multiplayer co-op puzzle game where adorable, fluffy, cute-shaped creatures jostle against each other to help solve puzzles together. Like, I'm sorry, but if you got off the shift at the steel mill doing backbreaking manual labor all day and your first thought is, I can't wait to play with adorable cube-shaped creatures, I hate to break it to you, dude, but you're gay. You're definitely getting railed by your boyfriend while you play with your adorably fluffy cube-shaped creatures. And you know, I and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Okay, we're just get together and love one another. Come on! Get it. This game is aimed at children or whatever, but like I said, we had 10 badass new games coming out at this same time 20 years ago, and now we have none. So if you deny that the industry is gay now, I think you're just lying. Um, so what based game shall we compare this with? Oh, just possibly the greatest game of all time. GTA San Andreas released October 2004. San Andreas is edgy as hell. It's interesting. It has humanity. And it's just an incredible story with lots of twists and turns. It almost makes a tear come to my eye to think about what we've lost since 2004. 
I can't tell you how many hours we spent with like four guys crowded around the screen on this game, seeing what kind of junk and mayhem you could cause in this game back in the day. Everybody I went to school with would talk about it. People would come over to people's houses to play it. It was incredible. I mean, seriously, what's the last time you had a friend come over just to play a single player game? So these days, Xbox is out here shoveling gay... Well, I don't know, Andy. I, we're called adults now. I'm just saying, like, we shouldn't probably be playing video games too much anymore. We're kind of adults, but I get it. I get it. Puzzle games on us when they should be funding games like GTA San Andreas. All right, on to the last game, Trials of Mana. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be triggered by this because you love anime, and I, too, remember playing Secret of Mana as a child. Anime's gay. Get mad, kids. Style is gay, dude. This is a gay art style, and I can't get into this game. Now, you might like childhood games with more of a kitty art style. That's cool. Do you. But to me, this art style ruins this game, and it looks very gay. That's just my opinion. I mean, you can even zoom out and look at the art style of the eight games we've been talking about here, and everything from 2004 looks way more badass, way more masculine, way more cool, etc. Obviously. All right, and the final game that we shall compare Trials of Mana with is a game that I hear people talk about constantly, Def Jam Fight for New York. Fight for New York turns any player into a hip-hop legend. Step into the shoes of a ruthless street fighter battling for control of... Luda! Hip-hop... Fat Joe! That's one thing that's funny about games is like 99% of all people who play video games are guys. Just like 99.9% .9 of the world's population is not trans. But that they make it seem like as if that's like such a big deal and we have to focus on it so much when no one's even classified as those people or even are applicable to that situation. Makes no fucking sense. Games yes, it does. By it's called group. ideological subversion, you idiot, because these people are all a bunch of brainwashed cult members. Anybody you see complaining about me or calling me a grifter, it's, it's just a communist bot. It's just a gay, liberal, communist bot. Ugh, I don't think so, well, little man. This guy's like five foot seven, but I'm not roasting my agree with him, but I still think he might be grifting. In my comment section, because people want to take me out so bad for talking about this stuff. But look, guys, the Western media hates masculinity. They hate you. They want you to be a good little piggy, eat from the trough, and if you don't have any options for masculine games, they're hoping you'll play Valorant and you'll play um, Apex and you'll begin to question your sexuality and hopefully become <laughs> gay and trans because you're surrounded by homo flags. Whether it's BlackRock grifting us for trillions of dollars. Dude, this guy's actually, there we go. Now we're getting there. BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. There we go, Andy. China intentionally wanting to kill masculinity in the West so that they can easily invade America one day. We know that powerful forces want you to not be a man right now. I agree. Totally agree. Like I said, Andy Pat's fantastic video. I'm not sure if you're grifting. Your voice is feminine. And you got your ass kicked by the act man. But this video is awesome. I don't care if you're grifting. I believe it all the way. Alpha male league game is dumb muff and athlete. Out of here. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Subscribe to Andy Pants if you haven't subscribed to him yet. And uh, that's the video. Peace.